Hello, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Alexis Walters. Since 2009, the Boardman Schools Fund for Educational Excellence has awarded more than $85,000 in grants, helping teachers fund learning tools to give them hands-on experience. This year's grants were announced today, along with the ideas of how the money will be spent. First News reporter Desiree Gosselin has our top story at 10. Boardman Local Schools has been awarded about $14,000 in grant money to be used for special projects. Those projects are things that kids normally wouldn't be able to do through state funding alone. One of our criteria for grants is longevity. You know, how sustainable is the grant? This year, nine projects made the cut for funding. One is a solar generator that will allow students to power electronics outside of the classroom. We're going to be able to plug stuff into it, like equipment like iPad, iPads or microscopes out in the field. So we're going to be able to go off the grid a little bit. Through this grant, Boardman Local Schools has a plan for all the COVID plexiglass dividers turning them into greenhouses. We're just trying to figure out how do we attach them together. So it's a learning process for everybody involved. Um, it might work, it might not work, but that's life and that's real learning. Over at the middle school, they will be getting an updated studio for televised morning announcements. New cameras, new microphones, new editing material to bring really bring our studio into the 21st century because our, our all of our equipment is 29 years old. All of these projects are expected to serve students for years to come. They want to paint this blue area and paint it gray and put a Spartan head in the background. The Boardman Schools Fund for Educational Excellence gets its money from donations and grants. Reporting in Boardman, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News.